Hello, my name is Guhuru. I'm the owner of Split Cane Umia, and today we're gonna tie up one of my special caddies dry fly. So what we're gonna do is we start off with the body. We're gonna use black foam, which creates a perfect, good silhouette for the caddy. So what I do, I cut a small strip like this, and I fold it in double like this. Then I cut off a little piece right here, just to taper the body, like so. Take the thread. I use just a simple regular needle for this. Secure the thread in the end. And now I fold the foam, put it in between here, make a few wraps. Just secure, like so. And now I take the thread in the front and I make two wraps on the needle. And then I fold the foam forward and two laps in the front. Now I just repeat. This is a very simple easy way to create a good extension body it doesn't take that much of a time like so then we do a whip finish let's make two or three like this and we cut it off now I simply pull this body off the pin like so and now we got a nice, beautiful looking caddis on our body. Like so. Okay, let's start tying up the fly. Take a size 10 hook. Take some thread. Make sure to cover the whole hook with thread like so. now we take the body we put it on top and now what I do I tie in, in the segment like so it's secure then I make two turns on the hook and then in the segment and I repeat this helps so the body won't slide off or turn on each side so it's really secure there excellent now we cut there we can cut off some excess foam right there what I do now I take brown deer hair which gonna look like some cat legs like this I put this underneath. I tie it. Secure it. Like so. Now we got some beautiful cattle day. This is really good for flotation also. Okay, cut off some excess here. Like so. And now we're gonna create the wing. This is one of my favorite materials. I use this for the most dry flies, especially this caddy or stone fly. This is like a plastic isolating protection plastic you get when you buy a new cell phone or anything new electrical devices or something. You get this. Very cheap, and very easy to use. What I do is I cut one rectangular piece like this something like this and what I do I fold this double like so and now I'm gonna taper this one so I make like a small cut like this very easy and then I just taper it to the other end like so so what you want is something to look like this very simple, very easy. Don't 
doesn't require any tool or anything. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this on the top. We can look on the fly where we want it. Are you happy with it? Like so. And then I secure it down. Very easy. Like so. And now I'm gonna tie in two straws of the fasten tail. This will imitate the tentacles. You don't need to do this, but I do prefer this. Looks much, much better. Like so, like so, we cut off the axis. It doesn't tail like that. And then we do whip finish. And now I'm gonna turn this. And we're gonna put some super glue just to make sure it will stick good. Just a little bit on the wing and some on the top of the body. And now I just pull it down and I fold it. What you got. Now we can start like trimming it down to make it look a little bit like so. There you go, a finished Cali fly. This is one of my special ones. Yeah, I got I caught some really good trouts on this, and this will always stay floating on the surface. No need to use any wax or anything like that, and it can be very current water, fast running water works perfectly fine. Always stay sometimes. This will never sink down. So what we can do is paint this. Anyway, today we're gonna paint it but what I prefer I always like to use it in the natural white because when I do my fly fishing I always see the fly. I can always have a good contact and I can always see the fly even in the dark. So but today we're gonna paint it. Put some brown in there. And there you go. My special caddy. I'm gonna put it up for you so you guys can see it. There. Very, very efficient. Very easy to tie. Go to Split Cane Umia to find out more. This is one of my patterns for my new upcoming book. Will be it will be released the, this summer, so check it out. Thank you very much.